Sigmar lied. Sigmar told us we were chosen. Warriors stolen from death. To be reforged as his weapons. The immortal sons and daughters of the Storm God. Sigmar lied. He never told us the true cost of this honor. Soon, all that will remain of me is an echo, lost to the storm. But until that day, I fight. Hello and welcome to the Warhammer Skulls 2024 Showcase. I'm Rahul Kohli, actor, gamer and fan of all things Warhammer, and I'll be your host guiding you through the latest Warhammer video game reveals, teasers and trailers. 
Skulls is the annual celebration of Warhammer video games, and we have an incredible showcase in store for you this year. Alongside this showcase, you will be able to enjoy a week-long promotion across a wide range of Warhammer video games on your chosen platform. So, let's not waste any time and dive right into the showcase, joining Lieutenant Titus as he holds back the relentless Tyranid Horde. We kill it. We break the synaptic connection. They'd scatter like rats. And if you're wrong, if it's not there, I cannot afford to throw men after a hunch. Give me two squads, three space marines. That's all I can spare. Brief them immediately. Approaching troops. Talasa, we are almost there. What is your status? Drop complete. Moving to objective. Acknowledged. Proceeding to relay. Talasa on the march to take that high tyrant's head. Maintain Vox reports. Clear that wall climbing scum. Us. Now we end this. I have been dying to carve up some Xenos. Bomb is in place, Command! We can make it! Keep going! will guide us, brothers. Going to kill you soon enough, demon! Hold fast, brothers! We'll stand the heat and keep moving! There, boys. Rock on once to get crumpy. Here we go. Give me more. Pedal to the 
to me. Picked up my scent. I've been running, hiding, across continents, realms, fleeing through time, past, future. Tis howls! They're in my dreams now! I need to get out! Out of my own mind! Karanak. He's here. Unexpected allies and true horrors.
Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector is a game that speaks loudly to the Warhammer 40,000 fans. Black Lab Games did an exceptional job at delivering this experience in digital form when we first launched the game. Now it's time to look into the future of Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector. We want to extend a great thank you to Black Lab Games for allowing us to be here today and talk about this future with confidence. This February, we released the latest DLC for Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector, the Tau. Tau faction has joined the fight in Battle Sector with 14 new units and brand new HQ abilities. With the Tau DLC, we also released the Map Builder and Campaign Editor. These new in-game tools allow PC players to create and share unique maps and campaigns, while players on all platforms can download and play creations that have been uploaded. For the new era of Battle Sector, we need and want to update our multiplayer system. Firstly, we want to expand our tournament formats. Secondly, we keep growing the number of maps available as battlefields. We want to add official ranking within Battle Sector. We want to give our community the possibility to play both in public matches for fun and in ranked games for a more focused challenge. The Planetary Supremacy mod was added to Battle Sector ahead of Skulls in 2022. We continue to tweak and improve this mode, but we know that there is so much potential for it and that you guys deserve so much more. A big part in our plans for Battle Sector is not just to tweak Planetary Supremacy, but to completely overhaul it. We want to reimagine what it is and what it can be. It's not ready for public view yet, but we are looking forward to show you when it's time. We know that our players love the Age of Crimson Dawn campaign that comes with Battle Sector. We know that you would like to see a lot more narrative campaigns from us. We can't say yet what they are, but we promise that they're coming. And we're really looking forward to telling more stories with Battle Sector. We released our very first free unit, the Primary Sim Victor Tactical Warsuit. We decided to do it again for this year's schools. We are now adding one more free unit. With the latest patch of the game releasing today, we are adding three of them. First up is the Necrons Royal Warden. They wield a potent Relic Gauss Blaster and possess enough initiative to use adaptive strategies to increase the effectiveness of nearby forces. And then, for the Tyranid faction, are the Pyrovore and the Biovore. The Pyrovore is a hulking mobile flamethrower in digestive bioform. Their dorsal mounted weapon can engulf entire squads of prey, and the burning spray can melt away some of the strongest arm. The Biovore is a piece of living artillery that the swarm has evolved into a very different battlefield role. That's all for today's Skulls Pack release. I'm sure they're already asking, but what's next? We are delighted to announce that the next major faction for Battle Sector is in the works, and the Commissar has given me direct permission to reveal... That's right, soldiers. The Astra Militarum are coming to Battle Sector.
Taking heavy fire! What a showcase it's been so far, but it doesn't stop there. Next up, prepare to head back to the chaos corrupted forge world of Gryer for more Vault Gun, the bombastic retro shooter in which I voice the part of Sterngard veteran Malam Kaido, who's back fighting his way into the depths of the demonic forge in the brand new DLC, Forges of Corruption. Let's check it out. You had a hell of a blast purging the heretics? So realistic, feels like going to work. You wanted more? A true masterpiece of diplomacy and finesse. Grab your chainsaw because your favorite ultramarine is back! Introducing Bolt Gun Forges of Corruption! The arch enemy has seized a crucial manufacturum on Gryah. Descend into the depths of the forge complex and purge them! Traverse the Gryah battlefields. Hunt your prey in the demonic forge. And show no mercy! Take on the Black Legion Havoc and his heavy weaponry. Survive the infamous Chaos Abomination. The Hell Brute! Scorch scores of heretics with your multi-melter! Or blow them away with your missile launcher! Boom goes the Chaos Bill! If you're up for the challenge, dare to face endless waves of foes in our new Horde Mode! For the Emperor! Bolt Gun, Forges of Corruption will once again shake Warhammer 40,000's grim universe to its very core. Available on PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and Nintendo Switch. In 2015, Fatshark released Warhammer End Times Vermintide, setting a completely new stage for fans to experience the ultimate Warhammer Fantasy co-op adventure. My name is Joachim Setterberg, and I'm the design director for Vermintide 2. In this video, I will quickly walk you through the past, present and future of Warhammer Vermintide 2. Since its release in 2018, Vermintide 2 continued to unfold the story of the End Times and engaged millions of players cross-platform. 
Over the past six years, our game has expanded greatly with fantastic adventures from the ice-cold depths of Karagaskaras to the old haunts of Drakenfels and further into the notorious chaos wastes. Only last month our heroes found themselves stranded on dangerous shores, introducing a new enemy to the game. I would like to thank you all for taking part in this journey, and rest assured it is far from over. So let's take a look into what's coming next for Vermintide 2. Starting today, you can play the in-game event Skulls for the Skull Throne, with challenges and rewards for heroes brave enough to face them. Together with the event, we have also released a big quality of life update for Chaos Waste, containing bug fixes, new weapon illusions, new boons, some chest of trials updates, and new weekly challenges. As for community requests, the winds of magic illusions will now also be available in Adventure, and the much requested loadouts are at your disposal. So what does the future hold? Well, prepare yourselves for the long-awaited new game mode Versus, as we are finally bringing PvP into Vermintide 2 on PC. On May 30th, bring out your inner Skaven and team up against the Uberstrike 5 in our returning alpha test. We are truly grateful for your feedback in the previous tests, and we look forward to continuing developing Versus with you, leading up to the release later this year. And you can, of course, anticipate the return of the Heimesnacht this fall. And then, the Uberstrike 5 aren't quite done with the Skaven. So as for when, we have to wait and see. But we can reveal that they will continue the journey in an all-new adventure, while, of course, wielding some new weapons. So whether you have been with us from the beginning, or are just joining, the fight against the Pax One will continue. So on behalf of everyone at Fat Shark, thank you for these past years. And remember to prepare yourselves for the battles yet to come. They are presented with an opportunity. Access to a lost foundry plex in the interzone void. With access to such facilities, we can produce the Lobian steel of old. You will make contact with our informant and reactivate the foundry plex. But do not let down your guard. Our contact's motives are unverified.
Knowledge is power, and both obey my command. Why tell you who I am when I can show you in combat? We are the Thunder of Pendrith! Let's give them a back to worthy of the All Father! This is a great saga in the making. Darkness has descended upon us. Heretics, mutants, blasphemers, wretched abominations beyond count infest our holy emperor's domain. From the eye of terror we shall bring no mercy. Stop. You've seen nothing yet. Surrender now to the greater good. My life has been spent preparing for this. With fire and faith, we illuminate the darkness. O oh God Emperor, grant us the strength of your conviction. And we will cleanse your enemies in sacred flame! Under the light of righteousness, darkness will find no mercy. Now we've already seen some fantastic reveals and updates for Warhammer video games, and we could end it right there, but by the blessings of the Omnissiah, there are a few more real showstoppers left, so let's take a look. Hello, I'm Tom from Nomad Games, studio behind Talisman Digital Edition. For anyone that doesn't know, Talisman is an iconic board game, originally released by Games Workshop over 40 years ago. We are extremely excited to announce that we are making a brand new version of Talisman Digital Edition, which will be based on the upcoming 5th edition from Avalon Hill. This new version of Talisman Digital Edition is already in development and we're working closely with our friends at Games Workshop to bring their new vision for Talisman to life. To celebrate this, we've made the current version of Talisman Digital Edition free on Steam and mobile as of today. We'll be revealing more about our new version of Talisman Digital Edition very soon, and you can wishlist it now on Steam to make sure you stay up to date with the latest news. Thanks for watching. but a taste of what is to come.
evaporated in our absence. Now, we awaken to retake what is ours. How about that for some Warhammer goodness? The machine spirit is strong in Mechanicus 2. What a reveal, and it looks like the Necrons are playable this time too. Well, that's it for this year, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and you can learn more about the games featured in the showcase and where to play or pre-order them by visiting warhammer-community.com slash skulls. And finally, head on over to your platform of choice to find all the amazing promotions that will be running this week on Warhammer video games. Thank you very much for watching, take care.